What's up? Thanks again for tuning into another one of my videos. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're seeking the right information in order to build your clothing brand. So my name is Trenton Scott. If you're new here, <clears throat> owner of, <clears throat> co-founder of Say Less Lifestyle LLC, um, six figure clothing brand. And I'm here to just provide value to y'all. And I'm literally not even editing these videos. I'm just posting and posting because I feel the need to provide value for, to y'all. And through my clothing brand journey these past three years, I've needed somebody to tell me these type of things. So I'm just being genuine and giving y'all all the sauce. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Send this to a friend if you think it'll help them. But as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be getting right into it. I'm going to be teaching you how you can quit your job and work full time off your clothing brand. Um, and you know what I'm saying? It starts with desire. It starts with number one desire. I'm going to start with that because you have to desire. And obviously, if you're on this video, you desire to, you know, take off with your clothing brand and seek the right knowledge. Um, and that's the main thing, seeking the right accurate knowledge and making sure you're going about everything you do strategically. Because um, if you have a definite plan in what you do, then, you know what I'm saying, you're going to succeed. And notice how I said definite. You have to make up your mind that you're going to do it. And that relates back to another point that I'll say in, later in this video. So make sure you watch the entire video to see what I'm going to say at the end. But, you know, it starts off with desire. So you have to... The starting point of all successes is, is desire. You have to want it bad enough. You have to constantly think about it and you have to move um, as in move. Your actions have to represent that, that you desire to take your brand to the next level and actually live off of it comfortably and not have to work a job and actually be free to an extent and just, you know, do what you want. Because um, that's the main thing is be free. So, and, and prosper, of course. But, um, so the first step is just having that desire. You, you got to want it. You know what I'm saying? And then the second step is practically having those fundamental habits every day. And like I say in other videos, you have to change your to change your life. You have to change your mindset, you know, change your perspective on some things and the way you look at things. Um, because, you know, what I'm saying we have things in our in our in our heart and our subconscious mind that we do unconsciously, just like how you wake up and go brush your teeth, just like you wake up, go to the bathroom because, you know, You've done it, that repetitive action of doing it. Same thing. When you're seeking the right information for your clothing brand, whatever the situation may be, you're reading those books, you're upping your knowledge. You always have to get it embedded, like constantly hear it, play it while you're going to sleep. Um, you know what I'm saying? Constantly write it down, read over the notes, uh, think about it. Um, and, and eventually your, your your mind is just going to change and, and your life is going to change shortly after. So that's why I just stress trusting the process too. Because, you know, you can be nothing for four years and then the fifth year you blow up. But if you would have gave up the fourth year, then you would not have blown up. So with that being said, find those fundamental habits that you have every day that keeps you grounded in order for you to refresh your mind every day to keep you on the on, on the top of things and focused on your end definite goal notice how i said end definite goal notice your what is your definite chief aim with your clothing brand you know what i'm saying what are you aiming to do are you here to motivate people are you here to just you know to provide sick clothing and just you know what i'm saying great quality and make it a great experience for the clothes for the uh, customer uh what are what are you here for you know what i'm saying what is your definite purpose and what is your meaning behind your clothing brand um and just make sure it's a brand that you know can your your, your customer can trust but we're getting a little bit off track um, watch my other videos for how you can build your clothing brand up um, to practically living off your brand. But I say build those fundamental habits for key number two. Um, like I said, wake up, read for 10 minutes, wake up, laugh, wake up with a smile on your face and write 10 things down that you're grateful for. Little things like that make a difference. I promise you, wake up. If it's sunny outside, go sit in the sun and get energy. Go for a workout, go for a jog outside and clear your mind. Go sit down for 30 minutes and try to just literally picture the life you want and picture that you in that position that you want to be and how it will feel when you make it. You have to do these things every single day in order to, you know what I'm saying, get it embedded in your heart so you just automatically start doing these things that are going to boost you to become a better person each and every day because entrepreneurship builds you up and builds your qualities and your character and builds endurance for you and just to handle life you know what i'm saying so 
That's why I say you have to build up your mindset. Get those fundamental habits. Read that 10 pages book every day. Study study that podcast every day. It's okay to study the same podcast for 90 days. Like, do that. Like, study the same thing for 60, 90 days. Do the same workout for 60, 90 days. You're going to find a difference. Yes, you should switch it up eventually. But you're going to, you know what I'm saying, get in the habit. And it's going to be like muscle memory. You know what I'm saying? Stop putting limited beliefs on yourself. Um, stop limiting yourself. Stop saying, no, I can't do that. I'll do that later. No, do it now. You know what I'm saying? Get it done. Simple as that. That's why. That's where it comes back to desire. You have to want it bad enough, and then you'll move in that way. Not just when you're motivated, but move in it even when you're in adversity because you have to fight it. You, you, have, to, you have to get over it. If you want to live off your brand, it ain't no joke. You have to put in the work. So with that being said, that's two. two one is designer. What is desire and two is fundamental habits every day. Find those and have that definite plan and that definite chief aim where you want to be um, in the next year, in the next month. Write down your goals, you know what I'm saying? Stay on top of it and refresh your mind every day and what you're supposed to be doing so you can stay focused. Because the number one reason men fail is broken focus. All right, so the third thing is get an in-person location. I'm going to say that 70 times out of 10. That doesn't make no sense, but I'm going to say that all the time. Get an in-person location. I would say after a year of being of having your brand, then get an in-person location because you have gained a little bit of uh, knowledge and things of that sort. But it doesn't really matter. You can get an in-person location as soon as possible. And that in-person location, simply if you present it the right way and brand it the right way in that in-person location and actually have that desire to be handing out business cards because people aren't just going to walk up to your whatever you have, if you have a kiosk or a store. I say you start off with a kiosk. I say this in other videos too. Start off with a kiosk. But if you manage to get a store, whatever, a location, I say in the mall because people are coming inside the mall with money in their pocket already and looking to spend it. So with that being said, you have opportunity in front of you. And, 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 and you know, find, I, I got other videos on how to get in the mall. Go watch my other videos on how to get in the mall, but get an in-person location. I guarantee you, if you're going about it the right way and your brand is set up the right way and you have enough variety and you have uh, things that your clothing brand are appealing, you know what I'm saying, that are showing the customer that's appealing and you're providing value in a certain way, you know what I'm saying, even when they come over, give them a free wristband. Hey man, I just want to tell you about my clothing brand, da da da, da. You can get sales in certain ways. It's way more opportunity than sitting on the couch. Get an in-person location. And yes, if you have to work it by yourself, work it by yourself for now. But do what you got to do. And it can cost anywhere from uh, $500 to $2,000. But I promise you, you're going to see a return on your investment as long as you're doing the right things. So um, it's up to you. At the end of the day, it goes back to that number one point one, which is desire. Once you get that in-person location, it's up to you and, that, and to have that willpower and that persistence to pay rent each month and make plus to provide for you because if you're sacrificing all that time yes we don't want to sacrifice our time for money but you're building your brand right now do whatever you have to do all right so the fourth point so we got three points desire fundamental habits every day and in-person location the fourth point is simply stay down until you come up you have to trust the process i keep saying this you have to trust the process it's gonna it's not gonna happen ever overnight and once you do build some momentum Continue to build that momentum. Okay, you dropped, you you had a drop and you got over 20 sales. All right, next drop, get over 40 sales. Put, study, study, study your drops. Study your results so you can, you know what I'm saying, make solutions to the problems that you are having so you can get better results. Um, You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> <clears throat> stay down till you come up and trust the process. Um, Literally, stay low key, stay quiet. Don't be telling people what you're about to do. Don't be telling people your next goal, your next plan is just execute. Because with this clothing brand and getting it established, you have to execute, execute, execute. And feed your brand, feed your business. It's a baby. It needs as much capital as possible. And I talk about how to get capital in my other videos, so go watch that. So with that being said, we got four points. Stay down till you come up, in-person location, desire, fundamental habits every day. And obviously, you know what I'm saying, the fifth point would be to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and your brand no matter what. Burn all bridges behind you. When you're trying to live off your brand, you have to go all in and concentrate all your efforts towards your brand. You can't have your job and your brand. I, you know what I'm saying, before we became a six-figure business, the month before, I quit my job. 
We were had this brand for two years. We established the brand in two, two for two years. I had a job, door dashing, dishwasher, grocery store. I had to stay down until I came up, and I had to believe my clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't happen overnight. January 2022, I quit my job. A week later, we move into the in-person location. The in-person location generates over generates six figures. You know, the first month it generated about close to ten thousand dollars the first month. You know what I'm saying? And it got me out of that hole or that pit I was in. And I was finally able to live off my brand. And from there, it was a domino effect. So once you get that momentum, just keep on going. So the five points right there. Believe in yourself or nobody else will, too. If people are telling you to stop your brand, whatever the situation may be, do not listen to them. They don't put in the work. They don't put in the hours. Put the work in the dark so you can shine in the light. As simple as that. I hope this video helped y'all. Subscribe, like, comment down below. The five points right there we're going to go over them real quick is desire, fundamental habits every day in person location stay down till you come up and believe in yourself and also you know branding and marketing comes into the situation and obviously the ads and the website and stuff of that sort but i told you things that are very easy and in your control so bet so you know what i'm saying i hope this video really helped y'all and provide value for y'all i'll be dropping way more and i'll be continuing to provide value on any way um you know i just hope y'all can provide value to me um and just give me a little thanks by liking the video comment share but if you don't, not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Hey, say let's do more. Appreciate y'all. Go check in with me on Instagram at say let's Trent. And go check in with my business partner at say let's Ed. Follow us on all platforms at say let's Lifestyle. We out of here.